I'm going to ask for all of our fifth and sixth grade teachers to come out and take a bow. So we have, come on out, all of you take a bow together. So you all know Mrs. Lagudis is our middle school chorus teacher. Mrs. Bach is the chorus teacher at Riverside and band teacher at Riverside and Covert. Ms. Furamonte from Wilson School. Mrs. Toomey from Hewitt. And Mrs. Shaw is at Watson and Covert. So in, I, in addition to the fact that they do a great job teaching the kids the songs, I really appreciate that they accompany one another, they work together, they set a good example to the kids for what it means to be team players <coughs> and work together. So let's give a big round of applause to all the kids and teachers. At this time, while I still have the sixth graders here on the stage, I'm going to invite Mrs. Pandolfo of the Sponsors of the Arts to come up. She's going to award three uh, scholarships tonight. And uh, while she's coming up, Sponsors of the Arts is a wonderful organization. They're, essentially, their sole purpose is to raise money and give it away on these nights. So please support, please support them by buying their stuff. But I think Mrs. Pandolfo will agree with me if it's even more supportive if you join and help them out. So Mrs. Pandolfo. Thank you. Good evening. Um, I'm currently the treasurer of Sponsors of the Arts. And if um, many of you don't know, uh, basically we try to um, support the arts and support children in their pursuit of the arts outside of school. Um, and the arts include music, theater, dance, visual arts. And with the funds that are donated um, from our members, uh, from joining Sponsors of the Arts, or from supporting us with buying candy at every single show and every single concert that we sell. Um, today we also have t-shirts um, available to commemorate uh, your child being in, uh, all, in all district this year, so we'd appreciate it um, if you could buy them that little token and, and support Sponsors of the Arts as well. Um, we basically support uh, programs in the schools, such as Golden Gathering, Homecoming, and inductions um, for the high school art and music honor societies. Uh, we supply refreshments, lunches, dinners, uh, all that, and supplies that they need. Um, our main, we also do the plaques that you see around the school, um, the, the middle school uh, wall of fame, the high school wall of fame as well. We provide plaques that are given for uh, scholarship awards uh, at the high school graduation and the middle school graduation. Um, also, we provide, uh, the main thing that we do is we provide scholarships. And um, we do this to encourage the students to further their study in the arts, like I said, outside of, of their, their daily uh, music classes in school. So um, over the past year, we have uh, awarded $6,500 in scholarships, including all district scholarships, which we'll be awarding tonight. And uh, we also award uh, scholarships to graduating seniors uh, who are going to pursue music or the arts uh, as a major in college. So um, tonight, you know, uh, we made the committee, uh, just, just so you know that the uh, scholarships are determined by uh, parents who were members of, our, of the sponsors of the arts who have children who are no longer in the, in the school district. And um, they were overwhelmed by all of the wonderful applications that they got this year, and they said it was very difficult to make a decision. But um, tonight, it is my pleasure to award five of these scholarships. So our first recipient is in the seventh grade. She intends to use her scholarship to pursue her interest in orchestra. So please join me in congratulating Lillian Darcy. Here. Hi, 
Our next recipient is in the sixth grade, and uh, she also inten and she intends to use her scholarship to pursue her interest in vocal performance. So again, it's my pleasure to award uh, the All District Scholarship uh, to Ava Paternostro. <laughs> Our uh, third recipient tonight is also in the sixth grade. She intends to use her scholarship to pursue her interest in vocal performance, theater, and dance. So uh, again, in, uh, congratulate tonight, Ashley Marmel.
Uh, our first piece will be Libre May, uh, which is by Gabriel, Gabriel Fauré, who was a French composer in the 1800s and had a lot of influence in 20th century composers. Um, it is a requiem, and we really enjoy this piece, and we hope you enjoy our whole set. And we are so grateful to have Miss Brickman, who was our student teacher last year, accompany us uh, tonight. So enjoy.
piece is called Five Hebrew Love Songs, written by Eric Whitaker, one of our favorite composers. Um, the music was written by Eric, and the lyrics were written by his wife, Hila Plitman. It was originally written for a piano and violin accompaniment. However, there is an arrangement for a string quartet accompaniment, and we are so privileged to have a fabulous string quartet at our school, and they are actually working with a string malfunction at the moment. But they are Angela Sorial, Peter Weiss, Laura Marin, and Leah Maliner, and they are absolutely fabulous. This piece is broken up into five short songs, so please hold your applause until the end. Thank you.
Hi, my name is Victoria Devine. <laughs> I'm Julia Baxley. Our last piece that we're going to be singing for you tonight is called Unclouded Day. It's a piece arranged by Sean Kirchner. We actually sang it at Allstate this year. It's a wonderful piece, uplifting, fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. And Julia has the last message. Yeah, so um, I'm doing a bit of a closing tonight. So my name is Julia Baxley. I'm a senior. And it's kind of bittersweet to be here. Um, I went to Hewitt with Victoria, and I was in all district in fifth and sixth grade. And then again with Corral, seventh and eighth grade. And then now this is our third year with Chamber Singers. Um, you know, and it's pretty sad that this is our last ever all district concert, but it's becoming the season of last for a lot of the seniors. We just had our last red and blue. We're going to have our last musical, and we're in our last months of high school, and some of us are last months in Rockville Center. So, you know, when I was thinking about that and getting all sad, I was remembered that tonight is actually the first all district concert for a lot of people here. I think most of them are waiting to come inside, but the fifth graders, the sixth graders, and actually some people in chamber singers too. Um, so I was like, oh, what can I tell them? This is their first, some of them it's their second, third, whatever. So as a senior, these are my departing words of advice to the future singers of the Rockwell Center School District. First, um, Corlairs, I'm talking to you. Look at the people around you right now. I can see you. Look at each other. <laughs> yeah, these people are going to be the people that you're stuck with till graduation. And you might like each other, you might not. But it's going to be a lot easier if you're friends because you guys are going to be together all the time. Second of all is appreciate your time with your teachers, the elementary school teachers, Ms. Elias, Ms. Della Vega, and Dr. Freiling, because it goes by in the blink of an eye. I feel like yesterday I was in fifth grade watching the chamber singers. And lastly, keep singing. I don't care if you think it's boring, if you think it's hard, if you think it's not cool. You have to keep singing. I promise you, if you quit, it's going to be your biggest regret. No matter what, Stick with it, and then you can be us one day. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy our last piece, Unclouded Day, and then it's time for everyone's favorite part of the concert, How Can I Keep From Singing? So enjoy.
me again. Uh, listening to the seniors and talking about how, uh, looking back on their time at all these old district concerts, the true way to remember that is to purchase your all district t-shirt for sale for $15 right in the lobby. So help us support. Okay, so uh, it's my pleasure to come up here again and award the last two uh, All District Scholarships this evening. Um, our, our next recipient is in 10th grade, and she intends to use a scholarship to pursue her interest in vocal performance. So please join me in congratulating Kaylee Sewell. Okay, last but not least, our final recipient tonight is in the 11th grade. He intends to use his scholarship uh, to pursue his interest in band. Please join me in congratulating Nicholas Rossiello. I was very, very honored to travel with the following five students to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for a four-day conference uh, where they actually got to meet the composer of the next piece of music we are going to sing for you. I didn't meet her, but they did, so I'm super jealous. Um, and they even have autographs to prove it. So the five lovely people that I traveled with, um, I'm going to ask you to come down and accept an applause, are Elizabeth Redman, Elizabeth Sweeney, Brandon Astor, Drew Beatty, and Jamie Hatter. Come on down.
Keep on going, 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 keep on going.